Jack Roblin here for Electronics USA. Thanks for watching. And we are looking at a classic vintage digital clock kit offered by Radio Shack back in the early to mid 1970s and sold under the Archer kit name. And this clock is kind of unusual in that it uses VFD display tubes. That's vacuum fluorescent display tubes. And VFD technology is still very much around, but obviously much more integrated than this old clock, which as you can see uses six individual tubes to make up the display. Got it running right now in 24 hour mode and we really lucked out getting this on eBay at a very decent price and added it to the collection of vintage digital clocks and timers here at Electronics USA. And as you can see, I've got it out of the case right now. I had to replace a couple transistors used for driving the segments on the display. A couple of them were out when we first plugged it in and very easy fix to do and always great to get something like this up and running again. So next, let's have a quick look at what this looks like in the dark. Back in a moment. Okay, we're in the dark right now with a good close-up look of this beautiful vacuum fluorescent display. And if you look closely enough, you'll notice the red vertical lines. Those are filaments. And like all vacuum tubes, these vacuum fluorescent displays are no exception. They also have filaments and it makes it one of the most unique characteristics of this type of uh, display. So next, let's move on to what makes this clock tick. Okay, let's have a quick look inside. The uh, heart of the clock is this MM5314N digital clock chip produced by National Semiconductor in the 1970s and 80s and quite possibly into the early 90s as well. A lot of uh, digital clock kits were produced using this now venerable and classic digital clock chip. And this row of transistors is used for driving the segments on the tube displays. This row here is used for the multiplexing of the displays. And the transformer is interesting. It has three voltage outputs, one 12 volts and another 30 volts for running a little higher voltage on the tube displays. And 4.3 volts for the filaments, which is kind of interesting because most uh, vacuum tubes have a filament voltage of 6.3 or 12.6 volts. And that's a quick overview of the Archer Kit digital clock kit made by Radio Shack in the early to mid 1970s. I'm Jack Roblin for Electronics USA. Thanks for watching.